Underneath Illustrator, you are opening up Illustrator. File New, we've already selected a template. Underneath the T, which is Type Tool, you're going to select a character. I'm going to go with S for my Squid Kid logo. I would like to flip this so as it's activated in the type mode, I can still drag corners up, move this backwards, because I really like that bow that's underneath on the bottom S. And if I were to keep typing, I would actually be typing upside down now, but I don't want to do that. I want to handle this as if it is a shape, just like I showed you how to make squares, circles, stars, and combine them through Pathfinder. I want to be able to do that with the S. So now that I have the S, I have to go to Object and Rasterize. I'm going to select a transparent background, and then I'm going to go into an image trace. And the arrow will allow me to select some different sections of this image trace because you can do this with a photograph as well, but we're going to do it with the S as a text. And let's say I just go under Silhouette. You can manipulate and explore those and see different things that kind of happen. The next thing you have to do is up here it says Expand because you have to expand your path into these anchor points. Now if I zoom in after hitting Expand, you can actually see I have all of these different anchor points or pins that I can manipulate just like I would do any other shape. So now if I go into the white arrow for Direct Select and I select that one, I can pull this and I can adjust the hang, ha uh, handle and I can yank this around and I can adjust that handle and I can start to get the shape that I really really wanted and for my squid kid I kinda wanted something that had a little bit more of a squid like figure as I'm manipulating this I'm getting a different feel for my character and that's exactly what I would like I don't like this one down here using that white tool I can stretch this out again I can pull out that anchor I can pull it in so I can get that squid looking effect. If I would like I can stretch this whole thing out. Maybe I don't need that whole anchor and I really want to manipulate this a little differently. So now this S has a little bit more of a squid-like appearance and I can manipulate that form. That's how you rasterize text. That's how you rasterize photos. You have to expand them. Again, it's under Object. You're going to go into Rasterize when you have it selected. Then you actually have to come up and in the Rasterize section select transparent so you don't have to do the white background you hit OK and then under image trace you select which image tracing you'd like to have if you go into high fidelity photo you're gonna have more anchors more points versus a silhouette so experiment with that command Z as your undo as you're exploring that option that is it for that tutorial rasterizing text